The attack on the Red House and the country's national television station still remain etched in the minds of those who were witness to the tragic event. But it seemed our very existence in the way we had always understood and lived it teetered on the brink of destruction. Two decades later, those most affected by the events gathered again to lay wreaths at the foot of the Eternal Flame, a monument in memory of those who lost their lives during the 1990 insurrection. For the first time, a sitting Prime Minister, Kamala Prasad Bissessa, attended the ceremony and laid a wreath at the foot of the monument. The man who was sitting in the Prime Minister's chair at the time and who gave the instruction to attack with full force, Arthur N. R. Robinson also present, noticeably weak and frail. Mere weeks ago, Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissessa announced that an inquiry would be launched into the 1990 insurrection. On Tuesday, she told those gathered outside the Red House it was to bring closure to those who remain haunted by that dreadful day. For many of the victims and their families, there is still no closure. Many mothers and fathers and spouses, siblings and children still ask why. In time, I believe that you will find peace. And that is why your government took the decision that we should have an inquiry into the events of July 27, 1990. Busad Bissessa says this country must never allow its democracy to be threatened in the way the Jamaat al muslimin did. Never again should a small group of dissidents believe that the only way to air their discontent is through violence and terror. The democratic process certainly allows for freedom of expression, but not freedom to terrorize. Tuesday's commemoration began with a church service in Port of Spain, followed by a military salute in front of the Red House where the attack was made. For many like Dennis McComey, Lincoln Myers and others, an inquiry which promises answers into the circumstances surrounding the events of July 27, 1990, brings hope of closure. At least 24 people lost their lives on that day, including Member of Parliament Leo Devines. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.